Hey what's up guys, so in this video I'm going to create a seamless pattern with the help of AI At least that is the plan, I'm not sure how it will go Because I'm just recording it and uh, I just want to show you the live process But uh, then I decided that doing a live video might be difficult because it will affect the quality of the video So I am just recording it but you know consider it as a live stream So here I am on the doll key and I want to create a seamless pattern um, floral, floral pattern, let's say lily's flower pattern, so I'm going to give it uh, some instructions here So I just type lily flower seamless pattern and I want it to be a vector illustration style Let's say what kind of results we get So now it's processing and uh, you know it's just going to take a few seconds And uh, I have explained this process previously and uh, let's see what do we get so yeah i kind of like it you know this one is a very detailed illustration now by the way i'm not sure that it truly got the idea that i want it to be in kind of like a vector illustration because this does not look like a vector illustration same is the case with this one it has a lot of details which are not quite suitable especially in the center area I don't like it and this is something that I'm you know kind of liking it you know the background color the simplicity of the flowers and uh, I think this might work and by the way it seems like it has tried its best to create a seamless pattern I'm not sure if it succeeded but uh, yeah it did not succeed but it has tried its best now i like this one a lot so i might create some variations of it, this one let's see this one again uh, kind of like a good kind of like a i think pencil style art but i'm not really impressed by this one so i'm going to use this one dark one and let's just see how kind of variations we get so i'm going to see let's say let's just change it variations and see what kind of that so if we get an improved result we might use that image but i'm pretty happy with the previous image as well so i might use that as well okay so yeah it definitely improved the colors i would say no no not really not this one yeah this one is something that i love it you know there are a few petals here and there which i don't like uh, but overall yes I, I kind of feel like this is something that could work and uh, let's just uh, see this one not really good and this one is yeah I am I'm kind of like kind of like this uh, no variable thickness of the lines so yeah I kind of like this one as well so let me just create maybe one more variation so uh, can we use any one of these let's say if we can use and improve on that by the way i still like the original here uh, because it has a lot of flowers and i mostly like that one and the variations look good especially this one it looks good but i'm not sure yet you know let's just uh, create a variation using this one let's say if we can create something good you know much improved so uh, this is going to be my last attempt or variation because i do not want to use all of my tokens or slots for this one so that is what it is okay yeah definitely improve the results and i think yeah this looks a uh, lot better among others but this one is really really better i think lines of red is not something i would want i would want the outline to be black so let's just see what we have we have this one as original then we have this variation and uh, then we have other variations like these so this last one is something that has got my interest let's just compare it with the first one yeah i still like this first one i don't know why i still like it but i really like the colors of these so uh, i'm gonna go with this first one you know the first attempt so i might create some other variation maybe later on but 
for the moment i just really, really like this one so let's just maybe try something else maybe try a variation using some other uh, you know like let's see let's just try a variation from this one i go although i don't not like the details it has so let's just create the last variation using this one and uh, then let's see if we we find something interesting so this is by the way the whole process would look like if you are using ai so you might uh, want to you know get some variation some generate you know generate some new ideas and then what what you like you know that's horrible i i don't like it so i'm going to go with this one the first one and i'm going to simply download it and then Probably I'm going to use a fancy designer to create a pattern, a seamless pattern using this one. Now, by the way, if it would have been in a really good resolution, I might have, you know, just uh, used Photoshop to create a variation or a new pattern from it. But you know, I really want to have a control over the size and the quality, so I'm gonna use a fancy designer. So I have just opened up Finity Designer, I'm going to create a new document and the size is going to be a sphere format and as you already know I really like 1200 by 1200 and I'm gonna keep it as CMYK and just simply press create. Now I'm gonna go and bring in the image that I just downloaded. So here we have a Lily's image inside of Finity Designer, I'm going to trace it and uh, this process is going to be pretty boring so i might just speed it up but the idea here is to just create few of these flowers and uh, then repeat those flowers in random position create random leaves so that's the main goal of here so let's start creating uh, this one this flower here is like a complete flower so i'm going to choose this one and uh, let's just uh, try to make some interesting pattern
so guys you saw how i have created these flowers and in the same way i'm going to create the remaining flowers and uh, you know just create some leaves here and then i'm going to show you the result because it is uh, getting uh, you know extremely lengthy and it will be difficult to edit this tutorial so i'm going to pause it here and in the meantime i'm going to create the remaining flowers so guys i have just finished creating the other flowers and the leaves and now it's time to just rearrange these flowers to create a seamless pattern now i already like the position of this flower here and a few of others just I'm just going to keep it as it and just going to maybe populate some other area also let's just copy this one by pressing ctrl j and move it 1200 points towards the left like that and uh, maybe we need to move this one a bit higher here and uh, yeah something like that and uh, we we want to create some variation here i do not want it to be straight you know from the top here so i think i like this position to be more like this and uh, we can always resize some of these flowers as well they don't have to be exactly like that and uh, let's just move this one copy of this one at the top maybe slightly make it smaller and we can i think this position will look good here and we can again move this one a bit lower now it's just the uh, process of arranging these flowers here and there and random positions let's just maybe move this one towards the right so 1200 points towards the right and uh, maybe slightly in this position okay that looks good and when you are adjusting the flowers on the edges make sure that you adjust the copy of it as well so you see me selecting both the copies and then adjusting their position and uh, this is how it mainly works Okay, now I'm going to adjust the position of the leaves here. So I do not want it to be coming out at random locations. I would like it to be you know, coming out behind the flowers mostly. In most of the cases. And uh, that's what the goal here is. So guys, I'm pretty satisfied with the placement of the leaves, so I'm just going to group all the leaves together and then I'm going to group all the flowers together so just to make the you know, layers panel kind of clean. Now it is already looking good, I just want to you know, create a background here and let's see if we just create the same background, how does it look? So I'm going to remove any fill color and then choose the fill color from the background. Let's just remove any kind of stroke from this one as well. And uh, let's see how it looks. Let's bring the flowers here. So yeah, it is looking okay but not really something that I really like. So I'm going to change the background color here. And maybe let's just make it black or kind of like darker maybe let's try some lighter version so yeah i think that will look fine another thing that we can do here we do not really need a background color at this moment so why not just you know save it as a png image and test it out and uh, you know see if everyone will have work at that time so you can do that as well so i'm just going to remove the uh, background here so that you must make the background transparent and then i'm going to simply export it as a png image 
and now I'm going to create a new document to test that pattern and not only we are going to test the pattern but we are also going to test the uh, let's say what we call it uh, the background as well so what kind of background color we use so we use a fill tool and we use a bitmap to the png image and I'll just scale it down a bit so that you can see if it is a seamless perfect seamless or not and by the look of it it does not look perfectly seamless because this vertical this kind of you know leaf is not at the perfect location as it's supposed to be everything else looks uh, fine but this vertical leaf is not right so we need to make sure that it is at the perfect location so I'm going to go into the leaves and select that vertical leaf this one I think we need to adjust this position so I'm going to do this copy select that one press ctrl j to copy it and then simply place it here and as we have placed it here we have a kind of like a blank image on this location so I'm going to select this one and create a copy of this one to fill out uh, this kind of like a location here and uh, that looks fine and now we can really adjust the you know actually let's just export it and uh, save it as a png image and then we test it i'm going to use the fill tool again choose the bitmap and select the png image and now you see that it has fixed that problem now as this is a png image we can just simply test on the background color here as well and let's see what one looks good actually the white looks good as well so let's just maybe test it out and test it on a color on a black color i think the black color would look fine if we change the colors of the leaves but anyway let's change uh, the navy blue darker blue and uh, see what works i think yeah that and so any kind of like i think dark color would work fine anything and we can adjust the color of the leaves to see which what works and what does not work so i think i really like this kind of like grayish tone to on the inside you paid so yeah this was uh, just a simple pattern creation using the ai as a helping tool it is not uh, you know something we should be afraid of you can just as i already said in my previous video this is just a tool so you can see that this pattern with this background color looks really good and i might use it as a you know as a pattern for one or for my products so this is what it is and hopefully guys you have found this video to be helpful and inspiring and hopefully you will be able to use the ai tools it does not have to be dolly it can be any other uh, I think platform or software and you can use it to create uh, some ideas for your patterns and or any kind of like t-shirt design as well so yeah if you have found this video to be helpful let me know in the comments below and uh, let me know in the comments also about what do you think about the uh, future of these ai tools and uh, you know ai generated images and how it will affect the artist mainly and uh, yeah that's all for now and hopefully i'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching